All right, fellas, this is Eminem Hero, the Lord Master 07. He's a little sick right now. <laughs> he lost his voice. This is uh, Mr. Ojamat. Hey! Making hot chocolate or whatever the hell he is, he's touching. We're doing a donkey video sperm. About. That's what I'm making, donkey sperm. With a little chocolate in it. All right, this video is about the new March band list and uh, what we think will be on there or what should be on there. So we're going to start off with... Uh, I'm going to have my personal say, Paris is going to have his personal say, or Mr. Ojo Matt, if you want to call him that. He can't say anything, so... Because we want to know why. And they want to switch off the box. Or, uh, what's your name, Chaos Man? The Chaos Man. Alright. Their channels will be posted at the bottom of the description, so let's get started. Alright. Down we, this way. Yeah, down at the bottom. Okay, we all know about the new release of the Insectors, so I don't think that Konami will touch them as of yet, because so they want to get their money off them, because people on Dueling Network have already had their experience with them. I've seen how crazy they are. They can control the field like that, with, with ease, just by using a Hornet, Hornet Centipede, and the, which, what was the one that starts it off? It's it's Dragonfly. Dragonfly okay. go gets, goes and gets Hornet, and then you do your whole shenanigans with that. Then you go get Centipede, and you do the whole thing all over again. Then you add Dragonfly from your deck to your hand. Yep. You go into Zen mains, and you just say, tell your opponent to go. Now, i also seen some of the decks use the new wind-up hand loop, where they use the Zen Mighty, Rat, and Hunter, right? Oh, fuck that now, deck. I call that the engine, because if, if it only uses three cards so far that I've seen, that means that wind-up hand loop engine can be put in almost any deck. And then give any deck that hand control that it needs. Now, I don't think the wind ups will get touched until they start to see a lot of regional play and top a lot. But it, what with the wind up hand loop and the fact that people don't know how to side against certain decks that well until it becomes widely popular, mm -hmm. I think the wind ups may get touched by the ban list. But um, not now. But as of now, I think the card that will get touched will be uh, are all the insectors darker earth. Uh, they are all. Dark, I believe. If they're dark, that means a lot of some dark support might get banned or limited. I think well, the lower stay at one because they don't want to give them any more power. Well, of course, now people are going to start citing a shadow and prison mirror, which that means dark world is going to be virtually dead unless if you unless they decide to pull some crazy idea with it, which no one wants to think of that because we got fucking tour guide. Yep. Now with the the whole idea with the dark worlds with trans arching, I think some of the dark world stuff might get touched. Like gates might go down to two. Because of the fact, the simple fact that three gates increases your chance of drawing it. You had two extra times to use it, and it's searchable. To, it means, you, and you had two to three terraforming that are ran with it. So that means you have like at least five to six different ways to get gates, including gates itself. So with Trans Arch Fiend, I think Trans Arch Fiend might get limited, and gates might go down to two. And some of the uh, and some of the um, Dark World monsters might get touched. Like um, I think Grapher might go down to two. Oh, very. Um, um, very. I actually, I actually don't think. I actually don't think Grapha will get hit because Konami, because as usual, cannot because about because what you said about Zectors, Konami needs to make oh, their money, the money yeah. and they're still selling, and the Dark World decks are still selling pretty quickly. Like I just, I know a guy who just bought three of them just the other day. Oh, that you're alright about that. So Grapha will stay at three, yeah. which is also why Hyperion's gonna is not gonna get hit either, unless if unless a Konami decides to smoke some crack and you know the rest. Well, what do you think about Bloodless for Soldier? Do you think he had a chance to go back long because of the fact that um they just took him off and like have fun with him? Yeah, surprisingly, back. you know, like when he was first limited on the September format, you know, everybody did went nuts. But like to be honest with you, you don't see him being played a lot. Not only in the top, top yeah. style that he's in, but um, I'm gonna go so ahead and get, I, I got my opinion about this. All right, all right. So it's the Chaos Man Forty Seven Forty. Um. We, yeah, we all know about the whole craze behind butt BLS and all that good shit with everybody running us. Bulluster shit on board the beginning. <laughs> wow. Never <laughs> heard that one before. That was awesome. Um, I was just online the other day and, and I was looking up the new gold series that's coming out and I saw BLS as a reprint. Yeah, I don't think BLS is going to get hit mm -hmm. despite everyone saying that it's going to get touched. No, that's not. Please. It's not going to get hit. Konami needs to make their money. I think BLS is going to survive one more format. Yeah. And then it's going to be gone for good. Well, you never know, though. You never know. Yeah, Konami could pull some stupid shit. I'll tell you one thing that would most likely get hit. That's Rescue Rabbit. 
Oh lord. Rescue Rabbit to two at least. Two to one, I'd be fine with that yeah. because of the fact that it, yeah, three is just too much. Yeah. I mean, like you know, yeah, three is just ridiculous. It's either going to be limited or semi-limited. If yep. it's limited, that's going to put a smile on my face. Like, I don't and, uh, have to worry this guy right here, bringing you... Uh, no Master 07. He can't, he's kind of losing his voice, but I'll say what he's told me um, a while back. He told me that um, if Rescue Rabbit get limited to one, it'll be just fine for Donald Rabbit. It won't hurt them too bad because they'll tour guide into another uh, level three fiend. And then yeah. they'll XYZ into Levier. Go start the rabbit. Detach oh. the material and get the rabbit oh, back. Oh, speaking of tour, um, tour guy. Yeah. Let's not, talk about that. Tour guys are TCG exclusive. It may not get touched. It's yeah. not going to even get touched at all. I don't... And that's what y'all saying, bro. I believe it might. You never know. Only the TCG. I mean, Konami is very unpredictable, so... And actually, I just heard a rumor the other day that there's a possibility that Tour Guy might go to the OCG. Oh, really? Oh, really? I heard... I actually did hear a rumor about that. I don't know if it's true or not. Someone... A couple people at, at my school were talking about that. But, um... I don't believe those rumors yet. I need to go look it up, but but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and safely assume that it's not, so... But yeah. if it is, it's going to be Tour Mania. But if it does, ha, Tour Guy's going to get limited. Oh, yeah. I think, I think it's better than Tour Guy. Sorry might, about that. That's just my little excitement. Either limited or banned. Depends on like what they can like do in OCG if it goes to OCG. I think Who Tour Guy had the high possibility yeah. of getting limited if once it if it does go to OCG, Tour Bus will help it get limited. Yeah. Because of the fact that it has to recycle. And Tour Bus not only recycles Tour Guy back, exactly. it's any, it doesn't say any card in either player's graveyard or any monster in either player's graveyard. Any, mon any, any monster in either player's tour graveyard. Bus. Regardless. So basically, you, if you have that one tank, you just dump that Tour Bus, put another tank mm -hmm. back in. It's retarded. Tour Guide and Tour Bus in the call is mad recycle and mad combos. Because someone's mm -hmm. going to figure out some way to go. Ape shit with both of them. Together. Oh, I've seen it already be been working. I'm doing that work because yeah, because like, because because apparently tour bus gets his effect when he's detached and goes to the graveyard. Yeah, because it says sent to the graveyard. It doesn't say sent to the graveyard. Is that and that is just retarded. All right, what do y'all think about uh, Dark Hole? Do you think it's gonna survive another format? I All can right. see it dwindling on the edge. Yeah. All right, here's what I have to say about that. If Dark Hole does get banned, which I don't think it will, because because having it here is healthy. But if it does get hit, then Torrential Tribute is going going to go to two. The reason why Sword. Yeah. yeah, exactly, because you can have like stall. You know what? Speaking of uh, normal magic cards that are limited, what do you think about Heavy Storm being banned again and then replaced by Giant True Me? That's would that actually mean. happen? Like. That's Please. what I want to know. Um, I think Trinish could possibly come back because Heavy Storm, it's... The reason why Heavy Storm, I think, got banned because it can be Starlight Rooted and people are heavy themselves. That's why I think yeah. Dark Hole might get banned because people can and do people, the same thing. Yeah. And people have started to figure that shit out again. So I think we can safely assume that the possibility of Dark Hole and Heavy Storm being banned is pretty high. Yeah. Thanks to Starlight Road. And if that happens, then Starlight Road might actually be... Semi limited because remember torrential tribute as well. Well, so. if Konami yeah. Konami likes to control the game to an extent, so if Dark Hole stays or Heavy Storm comes back, then Starlight Road will never get touched because it's going to help control the fact that Heavy Storm and Dark Hole are back. Now here here's a card that I that I would like to see yet do get get come back again. Um, actually, we we all know about the whole Heavy Storm Giant Trinade, mm -hmm. but um. But what I would like to see instead of True Nade, I know I know this is gonna be retarded and all, and we we can already say the combos, but I like to see Cold Wave. Oh Lord! Oh God! No giant, no heavy storm, no giant True Nade. Bring Cold Wave back. Well, I, I can actually see that happening because yeah. when Nade, if True Nade and Storm were in the same for uh, True Nade and uh, Wave were in the same format. It, oh, true day and field and just freeze. True day and cold wave in the same format is just retarded. So I can actually see them banning heavy storm and true day just to bring one cold wave back. That would essentially be essentially doing something similar. That would actually be really healthy for the game if they did that. But I mean, of course, we all know the whole OTK possibilities with that. Same can be said about heavy storm and true day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, going back to what I was saying, I know you're going to disagree with me on this. But um, if you want to kill the Insectors and the whole wind-up thing, bring Book of Moon to two. Because the equipment yeah. monsters will die off them. It need. Uh, yeah. What do you Book think? Of Moon. 
you know what? Speaking of semi limited, great idea nonetheless. Like great thing, Book of Moon two. Exactly. If you right. just want to kill the Insector deck, just uh, bring Book of Moon up to two, and then you know what? Uh, people will start speaking of uh, semi limited uh, cards. There is one semi limited card that I would love to be unlimited again. I think I'm just gonna say. And then what is it? Destiny Draw Malicious. Very. If you're gonna do that, then you might as well bring Destiny Draw back also. Yeah. Yeah. The only no, I understand Destiny that Heroes needed. They yeah. really do. Need I do it. understand that Destiny Hero Malicious have potential combos, but his effect is similar to Reborn Tengu. Now speaking yeah. of Reborn Tengu, I feel that he should be limited to two. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the fact that he's because like he in my opinion, he's overhyped. He's not really all that strategical because you could like slip up. Yeah, and, you know, have him leave the field, and you know that mess up your mm -hmm. whole strategy. But with malicious, just put him in the graveyard. He's in the graveyard, you're, and you're set. And he agrees yeah. when you want him to. Here's um, here's another thing I would like to see. Um, what is it now? It was um, shit. It's <coughs> just that in my malicious mind. is a tribute, and the only way you're gonna strategically yeah. use him is through. You know what? Speaking of that, like reborn Tinger really does need to be semi limited. Yeah, and either malicious needs to be unlimited. Malicious is a level six monster. It needs a tribute, or you gonna send it draw. to the graveyard. For but of course, if you if you do that though, it's gonna end up becoming perfect circle again. Perfect circle is called a uh, Destiny Heroes Commander got banned, so that kind yeah. of screwed yeah. up perfect circle. But of course, you know that people are gonna start bumming off the OCG and have and just have some like people always bum off the OCG. Yeah. Where do you think most of our decks came from? Yeah, lazy Americans. I'm sorry, but hey, it's it, 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 <laughs> it, it, it takes Japan to make to spark y'all's ideas about what decks to start using a regional. Then someone someone is. Not doing their part. We have brains. Why do we have to wait for someone else to do the work for us when we can just do it ourselves? Right. Because we're late. Because we're lazy. Yeah. We're lazy kids. as hell. We're welcome to America. We're lazy as hell. We'd rather have the smart people in Japan make the decks for us than we go copy them. That's that's smart. Yeah, that's really yeah, smart. Yeah, sounds like somebody I know. But um, yeah. but I ain't gonna put his name in it. To continue on the conversation. <laughs> dang. To continue on the conversation. Wow. <laughs> to continue on the conversation about emotions versus Tengu. If you draw. Two Tengus in your hand. Okay, you still have one to summon. There are 17 beat sticks. You're level four. You can summon one, beat down 17, and that one gets removed from the field. You get another one, and the one that's still in your hand. All right, that's good. Now look at Destiny your malicious. If you get two, to, if he was at three, if you got all three in your hand, what are you gonna do with him? He can't do jack shit. You're gonna have to tribute to get him out, or play Destiny draw. And why would you want? And why would you want a tribute for an 800 monster? Yeah. That's just retarded. That's why I honestly believe Malicious came at the three at one point, and you didn't really see anyone caring about that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think people mm. would care about that, yeah. really. They feel, they'll only use two regardless. Yeah, because then some people would be... But if they brought Destiny Draw 3, then some people would be in some arms about that. It but, would increase the draw potential, but look at yeah. the, look what's in this game now. There's a lot of cards that can control the fact that Malicious came to three. Yeah. Same can be said about every banned card on the list, but some cards on the banned list should stay there because they came out. There's always a focus that with that card that will be blown out of control, like Chaos. Oh Man. yeah. Um, back, I, mean, I was about to say yeah. that. If he came back, this, this game will be weird because Chaos Deck will come right back. Oh, he came. And, oh, he came. If Chaos Emperor Dragon came back, I quit. Yep, yeah. So did I. I would not play this format. But I'm sure everyone has their own opinion about what the format should be like. Yeah. I'm sure all y'all have which, counter um, opinions to what we are saying, but I, I respect that. Everyone um, has the right to say what they got to say. Okay. Um, what do y'all feel about the future of Ultimate Offering? Yeah. Okay. Here's what that I gotta say about needs that. needs to be addressed. All right. So, people know about the whole Offering gadgets. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's practically Tier 1 in Japan. I think it's time that Ultimate Offering gets hit. Oh, yeah. Again. Bring it to... One or two. Yeah, one, one or two would be just fine for yeah. gadgets. I'll say but, one um, two. Or no. no and actually, plus, limited, limited. actually, was it in Zectors or Steel Swarms? They can, steel, people won't think to use it in Steel Swarms yeah. until someone does it for them. And but in Zectors yeah. and Gadgets can both benefit from Ultimate Offering. Yeah. yeah. Basically, plus, Ultimate Offering will help the new decks Steel Swarm and Zectors... And plus, like it's basically, shock it's ruler. just a um, oh, it's yeah. gadgets all shock over. Keep again. shock, keep shock ruler and utopia ray in mind. Oh yeah. So the gadgets can go into rank fours with ease because the ultimate offer. Yeah. And so if that ever happens, I think we could see the first of sea monster hitting the list, well, not being banned. Possibly but like, utopia and Captain yeah. Utopia. All right, here's most likely shock ruler. Though. Oh, speaking of the sea monsters, now I know we are here's talking about one. Oh. Levier two one. Levier Actually, hold up, Doka and Lagia. Yes. Two, one. 
all could have died. Don't get the two loggier than one. If they, did, yeah, if they I, limit, I mean, yeah. If they limit them to one, they lose money off them. Because Donald Rappers are still making their money. Yeah, but I mean, come it's on. Basically, you gotta admit, that's just... Yeah, it's basically judge. Asylum being 1 and Asylum Judgment being unlimited. Yeah. Being, like, pumping out two Lagia by turn two... Is ridiculous. And having the whole Solid Race set... You're stuck. Yeah. You can't do anything. You gotta look at it this way. Dolga and Lagia are only specific two dinosaur style decks. Yeah. So the, the limit on the one is like saying that um the deck can't be stopped. Is Lagia and Dolga can't go in every deck. That's now, what I like about XYZ. They're not that spammable. Like everyone has the same 15 synchros in their extra deck now, all the time. Um, all XYZ right. are more yeah. strategic. Now I want to like, like, you know, cut y'all off for a minute. I don't mean to, but um, I know we may be talking about the March format, is it? Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about the future format. When Galactic Overload comes out. Oh, Jesus, don't even get me and started. And Neo Herc Dirt Galaxy Trolling Dragon. Ah. Is that around the time that the, the Holy Card or the Hyrule was come out? Uh, yeah. That's what he yeah. had to feel out of Speaking play. of, um, that's matter of fact, let's, let's, let's jump into. Yeah, let's hold that off for later. We're going to do another video about the Holy yeah, we'll Yeah, we'll get into that. All right, but let's, let's put our day. predictions out right now. I believe Neo Galaxy Eyes will get touched on the September format. When it when it comes, yeah, comes and only up, if it sees a lot of play through the holy card. Oh, it will. <laughs> oh, it will. Yeah, that's just gonna be ridiculous. Well, but yeah, anyway, enough about seeing that future. Let's not go that far. Ahead. Let's you, get yeah. back to March. What do you guys think about future fusion? Um, I think that card has a high chance of being banned soon. Actually, if that ever happens, oh my god, you hear like Scurry now. He makes spoke. Too much money. But the card is too good. He it's, spoke. It's essentially actually, if that ever happens, my Ojama deck will be. Fucked up completely. Think about this. You also, you also gotta remember this. You can solemn warning it. You can solemn judgment it. Same thing with foolish burial, but I think it's limited. You can True. negate the summons. Anything. You can't negate the summon through future fusion. But, um, card, you let it resolve. But here, wait. You, that's what you can. Cause here's the timing. Doesn't it comes out later? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if future fusion did get banned, but I don't think it should be right now. Not now. Uh, not right it's now. It's still bouncing on the edge now. Until that um. Armoroid uh, fusion goes out. No, no, no. no, he just is scurried out. It's going to be a problem because, because with um, future fusion is essentially a foolish burial with, that always sends at least two or more monsters. Foolish yeah. burial only sends one, and that card is limited yeah. to one. If future the fusion out two, comes out, two, then future fusion will be highly played because you can send an e hero monster to that future fusion and a dark that. monster. Yep. I believe that if that ever happens, the Omni heroes will be ridiculous, but so will basic heroes. Actually, the Omni heroes won't be ridiculous. Of course, with that deck only uses them just to have that access to send everything. The Omni heroes are just like people just throw them aside. I don't care yeah. about them. So, but of course, though, with that hero quasar deck, it's too inconsistent right now. Yeah, it's just a and very many, random style deck. And how many times have we seen that top in the OCG? Only like twice. If any, if anything though, I don't see it getting banned now. But mm -mm. Late, possibly later, maybe in the in the future, it's gonna get banned. So right as of now, I think Future Fusion will stay at one. Yeah, because yeah. Because the card is indeed a foolish burial that can send more than one monster. Yeah, and you can recycle it through Zephyr. I play Future Fusion. Show you the Drama King, or Drama Black, or Drama Yellow, Drama Green. I'm good. Here's okay. Here's one future fusion. Dump every Chimera Tech over Dragon. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. The fact that the <laughs> whole send a party. shout out to my boy D Swing. I had to bring what that happened? one up. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Oh man. How much time we got on here? Um, we we're about 18 minutes. I was good. We can go all one. Yeah. Okay. I I know that we are way into this, but and this needs to be talked about now. And what's that? Plants. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do to plants? What about Dandelion? Right. What about y'all think about Dandelion the Breed Dragon? This is the time. Limited to one. They should. What they should do? They're is already ban. limited. They should ban Dandelion. Yeah, it's, ban it's, it's, it's causing too much to happen. Plants just one Dandelion is just way too ridiculous. It still flows. Plants so. be ban. dead. Dandelion gone. Glow up bulb gone. gone. That's how you kill plants. What I think they should do is keep the Breed Dragon, but they, they Konami needs to stop banning the card. That is a result of the problem, but ban the card that calls it the problem. Dandelion yeah. is causing the problem. Yeah, ban Dandelion, ban Glow Bulb. And we're put good. Lone, put Lone Fire to two. Mm. That keep way they can have something going on. Keep Debris at two. Mm. Hey, plant players, now you can think of something original for a damn change. Stop always doing that plant synchro engine. Matter of fact, what about Doppel Warriors? 
Oh, one day of peace. Let's talk about oh, that. Yeah. Card. <laughs> yeah. This dude just mentioned one day of peace. That for a common card, that card is too good. Both players draw a card, and both players take no damage of any kind until the end of the next turn. Well, people aren't, but people aren't using it right now because oh, let's think about the only decks oh, that you're going to use that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Exodia, Final Countdown. Exactly. That, and that how many almost, times have you seen that top? The deck always, usually, always tops. Wait a minute. Speaking of uh, Sit Samurais, um. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about Sit Sam's. Right I first. still hate Sam's, yeah. by the way. Um, uh, I mean, what's she your opinion? I think Sheehan should still stay at one because she any, more, still at one. Yeah. any more than that is just too much. All right. So. I'm thinking like. I um, mean, you should give S the Sam's something back. I mean. I think they can knock up um, Smoke Signal to two. Yeah. I think it's fair to bring Smoke Signal to two. They need to give them a little bit of something to work with. Yeah. Just let them have let them have some fun. And, um. But I'd say, I have like a dark horse for that one. Put six six samurai united to one. Yeah, that, no, uh, either one to dragon. either one to two because that card is. Crazy oh God! Right there. Light yeah. swarms. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go into that. Yeah, um, it's yeah. It's ridiculous. But how of course, Konami fa in the TCG though that failed miserably. Mm -hmm. You did. I don't think I don't think you saw a single light swarm deck top at YCS. Oh, I don't think definitely good. definitely at regionals, but. Just a dragon to two. I actually can yeah. honestly say he can stay at three now because his rewarded effect. You can actually bomb with him now, and the field still won't get bombed. Oh, really? Because he has to no, be forget, uh, on the field. Has, prior, the has priority been taken away? It's now? not priority. It's just the fact. The fact he has to stay face up on the field to activate and resolve his effect. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. They rewarded oh, him. They, made, they, they powered him down. So three judgment dragons. I'm fine with that now because you can actually bottom with him and not they got, not get that free. I'm a bomb field regardless. Thanks to light and prisoning uh, mirror, you don't really have to worry about JD anymore. Because he can't use his effect. That's that's a good so, point too. That's your question too. Thank you guys for rewarding Judgment Dragon. You all just and uh, Order of Chaos. Uh, thank you for uh, Light and Prison Mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Order of Chaos. Shadow and Prison Mirror oh, yeah. actually. Oh, it's about damn time Konami did something right for oh, a yeah, change. Oh yeah, that could be used against Dark Worlds. Can't. Oh yeah, thank Shadow you. And Prison yeah. yeah, thank you Konami and Order of Chaos. It's oh. time that Dark Worlds die. Yeah. yeah. And, thank well, you actually, and there's even no need to bit. Like, here's no here's a little tip for y'all out there for uh, Dark Worlds. And trust me, we all, well, mostly make that thought. I've seen uh, it. Play uh, Gates of Dark World. Okay. Um, Curse Seal. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. And who's that? Gates. Who's that? Okay. You're not getting Gates, so... Um, have fun with that. Yeah. Alright, what else? Um. Uh, Ojama Trio. No. Nobody cares about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna stay at two. Alright, here's it's one. Not three. Three, three to lockdown. Burn decks will be f having fun again. Marshmallow. Burn decks already. Marshmallow to two. That's why they got looted. I'm surprised Marshmallow you guys haven't mentioned it. I don't mind Marshmallow being a Yeah, Marshmallow, fine. yeah. Reaper it's can stay at three, too. Yeah, Reaper can stay at three, despite yeah. how fucking annoying he is. Red Eyes. But it's so dragon. easy to get rid of, though, mm -hmm. so. Red yeah. Red oh, Red Eyes Darkness, but okay. Ooh! Yes, 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 yes. And no, it needs to get limited. If it's semi limited, if it gets limited, if it gets limited, the one, if it gets limited, the one lose money on dragons. Because not it, really. It's only that if you get if you bottomless red eyes, everybody can be like, nah, here's the thing. I don't care no more. Here's the thing, here. Semi here's the thing. Yeah, semi limited, you know, red eyes darkness metal. That's not gonna bother them because they're always always gonna run a red eyes waiver. So you can try that, to get rid of it as much as you want. If that's the case, if they eliminate the one, waiver's gonna go up in price because yeah. it's not gonna use yeah. three of those, they're gonna feature future all so three they waivers. Money. All right, so they should they, they can easily just keep it at two and limit waiver yeah. to two, or keep uh, three red eyes and leave waiver to one, or limit red eyes to one and then don't touch waiver at all. Here's a not. Here's uh, one. I think I said red eyes. Um, yeah. But red eyes, dark darkness. Royal should oppression get needs to come on back. The list. Yeah, With all the special summoning going on. I the agree. fact that it got banned was only to promote the XYZs. That's pretty much it. That's why Gravity Bind came with the three and Source came with the two because the XYZs aren't affected. Now speaking of Gravity yeah. Bind, um. Something tells me, let's see, it's limited to one right now. It's up to three. Oh, it's up to three. Mm -hmm. Put it to two. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine with two. Because now you can't, because people can't just lazily say, I'm going to make XYZ deck and put in three dirty binds, three level, two level, yeah, one level. Like, you know, put in like two and make it very strategical. Like, have people. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm kind of. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at this camera. <laughs> it's still recording, though, right? Yeah, it's still right, recording. Y'all saw that. It's Bob's fault. My bad, guys. I don't know where you're going to drop the camera. Alright. We're going off topic. We got to get back on. Alright. We all had ADD for a little bit. Um, let's talk about the agents. Oh, oh Lord. Um, Venus. Um, Hyperion's not going to get hit. Put Christian back to one. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah, Christian to one's fair enough. 
I mean, I only use one Christie yeah, anyways. Yeah, who will, like, actually... Like, I can see someone starting one in Mania 1, but Mania 2? Like, yeah. Just, Mania just, 2 is too retarded. What about um, a Mystical Shine Ball? What mm -hmm. if Kanawi trolls us and put that at 1? <laughs> I would smile. Shine Ball Angel will lose his I would smile because and then I don't would die. Ages. Um, Earth, Ages needs to die. <laughs> Earth the 2. I mean, I mean, agents. Only reason why they should touch that structure that is because agents are too swarmy. And, and plus, it won like a. It topped at Worlds that that format before September. So I mean, what so about it a should, situation in the sky? Nope. It just feels only the bad. Only the bad agent players use that. What about? And we're not. Gonna, and we're not going to mention any names. But there was a guy at locals last Friday who did that, and he got his ass kicked. Oh really? You really gonna put him out there like that? Is somebody out Poor know? Chet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Poor Chet. <laughs> Our Dark World player. He can't conf he can't conform to the to the heavens. The heavens deny you the right, right for enlightenment. <laughs> we call God, he said hell no. <laughs> uh, no, he I, said fuck no. Solemn warning, solemn judgment, I'm fine with that being the two to one thing. Yeah. Actually, I would say solemn warning to one. Because, yeah. because every because when you think about it, back when Duel's Revolution came out, Solid Morning was really expensive and very hard to get. Oh shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get going soon. Okay, um, but I'm gonna leave on this note though, and I'll give the camera to one of these other guys. Mm -hmm. But um, with Solid with Solid Morning, it got it got reprinted in that tin, and then everyone started using it. But back then, a lot of people, a lot of the, the pros, quote unquote, used it. So I mean, so that was when it was at three, and that was just retarded. Two was fine, but now it just needs to go to one because now everyone's using it. Mm -hmm. Well, except for me, I don't use judgment or warning. Yeah, so I don't like either one. Because he, because well. he doesn't use. Because this kid here doesn't use like all the money cards, but he still finds a way to troll us. Yeah, I mean, I would use I cards know. that you know people don't even think of and just straight divine, troll them. divine wrath. Oh, I love that. And card. I'll put my hero decks in hole until they get ready. But I'm trying to use my gym like that. And I'm thinking about I got a new deck in mind. It's like a it's a beast variant of the quick draw deck. I don't know what it is because the beasts actually have their own quick draw synchron called Egotistical Eight. But I'll do that on another video. Yeah, we start. Yeah, we started working on that today, and I'm gonna call it the Four Horsemen. <laughs> not the, not not like this. Not like the apocalypse is coming or anything like that. 2012. It's here, everybody. Run for your fucking lives. All right. 2016. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're gonna, uh, no, I'm gonna, wrap, I'm gonna the give the up. I'm gonna hand the camera off to my boy Paris and I have a stupid ass Spanish class to go to. So God I will Damn Spanish. I will I the Chaos in forty seven forty is out and I have to get moving. Alright. All right. Peace guys. Matter of fact, right. let's talk about um Let's uh talk about Glad Beast. They won't get talked. Oh god, they won't get me started. <laughs> Well, let's talk about them real quick. Well, I mean, what do you think? They ain't gonna get bothered. I don't know. They already did they gotta do them. Yeah. But they're so easy to get rid of now, so. Yeah, so that's why they're not a big deal. Yeah. But there might be. Oh my god. I just realized something. What? The wind up engine of Glad Bees? Mm, I don't, I'm not sure the Glider Bees could do that. Uh, but if it's possible, then. Then, they're, then, then you're probably just done. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Hand and field is gone. So far, I can. Uh, there's the wind up loop engine, the um, the shine ball engine, and uh, the plant sinker engine. But let's get back from the van list. Yeah. Uh, what else? So let's see. What else is on the list? Um, MST is was that? Uh, yeah, so MST not, is at three. People don't really use MS3 yeah. MSTs anyway. They usually use two to one. So like, put that back down. Here's a two. surprising thing. Like after it got to three. You never see it be played a lot. It's either only one people only use one or two. So, like here's what I think is so messed up about how like Yu-Gi-Oh players play. If it's limited or semi-limited, you will see a lot of it. Mm -hmm. If it's unlimited, you don't care. Yeah, you don't see that many. Many no matter. Depending on how good they are. Like I think many. like how you know a duelist mind is set. Like if it's limited or semi-limited, then it must be too good, which it is. But. You're, it's unlimited. It's just yeah, whatever. Like you're basically gonna rely on one car for basically a very sucky strategical purpose, which in this case is not like really good and whatnot. But um, let's just wrap this video up because this is like how long? 
Uh, we about to go on thirty minutes. <laughs> but uh, that's all. We, that's what we think about the man list. I know we kind of went off topic and kind of went random spots, so we kind of yeah. get the idea where we're getting at. But um, yeah. Like uh, everyone has their own opinion about the band list. I'm sure somebody out there is gonna have a counter. Uh, this, speaking of band so. list, uh, what about Doppel Warrior? He ain't gonna get touched. The Jump Doppel is not a high reigning deck. Uh, or let's just put it this way: Quick Draw Sync, Quick Draw, quick draw Dandy Warrior, or any of its variants, yeah. Jump Doppel, uh, Dandy, Dandy Sworn, whatever you want to call it, any variants of it is not a high rising deck yet. So, but it's still a problem. It's still a problem, deck. nonetheless. So but, uh, it's easily. It's let's see, like Doppel Warrior is unlimited, right? Yeah. People only use two of them anyway, so yeah, it's bringing it up to two. Because if but you they, use three, that might be a problem. They really won't bother with him anyway, because he's only in that deck. Uh, that speaking of um, monsters, um, level eater. He won't get limited. I don't know, man. Level oh. eater is too good. You know what? The meta doesn't care about him. Yeah. So they ain't going to bother him. They, meta only limits what meta What about um, Konami only limits what's, in, yeah. what's overly used. Um, what about bottomless trap hole? Being at two, I think they can knock it out at three, but I don't care regardless. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's still good. And, uh,. Even though we're on the ban list, I want to actually promote something. People start using Deep Dark Trap Hole. Yeah, seriously. At least side deck it. The card doesn't destroy anything. Yeah, it's just banished. It's just banished. That's just anti synchro altogether, anti fusion, anti ritual. As long as there are fat monsters. Yep. Which you will see a whole lot, so. Yeah. The only thing it can't touch is XYZs. All right. But um, let's just wrap this video up. This is uh, Inmate Hero. That's Nova Master 07. And the camera holder is Mr. Ojamak. Like I said, everyone has their own personal opinions. Y'all just post down what you think at the bottom. And we'll, on that note, have fun, y'all. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to these guys. Peace.